All over the earth since the beginning of time, the process of natural decomposition has been building soil. Decomposition is easy to observe in the forest when leaves fall from the trees and decompose. When compost is found in the soil, it is called humus. Humus supports the growth of new plants and helps protect water quality. Compost or humus holds moisture and slowly releases nutrients. Soils enriched with compost filter pollutants out of storm water, helping to green up our urban communities and protect local rivers and lakes. In the composting process, microorganisms, insects, and invertebrates such as earthworms work together as nature's sanitation crew. These decomposer organisms recycle waste from once living plants and animals. Compost used in garden soil supports the natural growth of flowers, grasses, shrubs, and trees, reducing the need for synthetic fertilizers. Simply stated, compost is gardener's gold. To begin your backyard composting project, select a compost bin and a location for the bin. The bin organizes the materials and should make the finished compost convenient for your use in the garden, around trees, or the lawn. A black plastic bin is one popular choice, but compost bins come in many shapes and sizes. Other choices are a compost tumbler, which makes one batch of compost at a time, a wire bin, a trash can with holes in the side, or even a five-gallon pail. Black plastic bins with covers are particularly useful because they hold in moisture and help keep rodents out. Slats or holes in the side of the bin provide air, an essential ingredient for the beneficial microorganisms that make compost. Place a compost bin near your garden, away from tree roots, and near a water source. The sun may dry out the compost, so a location in part shade is recommended. Make sure there is a water source nearby. Build and maintain your compost pile by following these five easy steps. Step 1. Collect yard waste and garden clippings for the compost mix. An ideal balance of materials is 50% shredded leaves, 25% green clippings, 25% soil or compost. If you mow your leaves together with grass in the fall, you will have a perfect starting mix for composting. Step 2. Layer and mix the yard waste materials. Start with the leaves. You can shred leaves by running them over with a mower or shredding by hand. Then mix in green clippings, cut into small pieces. Mix the green and brown materials together as you go. Add a layer of soil and lots of water as you build the pile. The compost mix should be as wet as a wrung out sponge. If you wish, cut up fruit and vegetable peelings into one inch pieces and mix them into the compost mixture. Coffee grounds and tea bags may also be added. Cover the compost bin to hold in moisture and keep out rodents. Never add dairy products, meat and bones, oils, soiled papers, diseased plants, invasive plants, bread, cooked food, and pet manure. Step 3. Mix and turn the compost mixture every two to three weeks. Turning adds and speeds up the composting process. Add additional water if needed to keep the compost mix damp. Step 4. Add more materials from time to time. Chop all materials into small pieces. If you add more leaves or peelings, add more soil and water as well. Don't worry about the temperature of the compost pile. Both hot or cold composting yield beneficial compost. Within four to six months, you will have earth-friendly compost to use in your home landscape. Finished compost is fine in texture and looks like soil. Step 5. Harvest the finished compost and use it throughout your home landscape. To use compost, spread it in a 2-3 to three inch layer around vegetables and plants, or dig it into the soil when you are planting. Compost enriches soils and promotes healthy plants wherever it is spread. You will soon discover that you never have enough. By making your own compost, you have a supply close at hand and the knowledge that it is free of pollutants. You may, however, supplement your supply by purchasing compost at a garden center or by picking up sock or compost at a member community. For pickup locations and availability, contact your local DPW. Thank you for your attention.
Your response to the following questions will help our project. Have you ever made compost at home? After watching this video, will you try making compost? What community do you live in? Please email your responses to lfdean at aol.com. Questions and contact information are listed below the video screen for your convenience. For home composting fact sheets and information about upcoming workshops, including the Sakwa Master Composter course, go to www.sakwa.org, Lawn and Garden section.